So Lake Union has been a seaplane base since 1914 when Silas Christofferson was hired to fly exhibition flights over the city. The first time a Seattle mayor went up in an aircraft at all was off Lake Union at the foot of Fairview in Boston. In 1916, Bill Boeing built a hangar, a three-bay hangar for $10,000 at the base of Roanoke. He built it for pilot training to prepare for World War I. Being Seattle, it had to be water-based. He very quickly took it over for his fledgling business, which was just starting up. He used it for R&D, he used it for storage of his aircraft, and he used it for some fairly significant first flights. It also was the first international airmail from here to Victoria. Boeing's first passenger flights came off of Lake Union, and we don't remember a lot of us that Boeing actually was an airline for quite some number of years, about 10 years, and it mutated to United Airlines. So if you wanted to stretch it a long way, you could say United Airlines started at the foot of Roanoke. I'm guessing that Lake Union is the busiest seaplane base as far as number of takeoffs in the United States on any given summer's day. And it's been a preeminent the seaplane base for the country, if not the whole hemisphere, since 1916. To mix the seaplanes and the sailboats and the kayaks and the, the work boats, the swimmers, all in together in a, in a very small space of water, most people think this just can't happen, but it's happened since 1914 was the first seaplane on the lake. Bill Boeing was on the lake in 1916. We've had seaplanes on the lake continuously since, and it's safe. We haven't had a fatality on the lake from an aviation fatality since they've kept records in 1962. Seaplanes are a icon, a signature of the lake both acoustically and in that mixture of, of seemingly incompatible uses of this lake. 